Doc will start with harvesting the first organ here, and as we can see, it's getting quite messy. Welcome everyone, this is Mr. Orange from Orange Gaming, and we're back at RimWorld. Episode 15 of the Breaking Bad series, and we're in the Boreal Forest. If you're joining me for the first time, please like and subscribe to get more videos like this. And if you're a recurring viewer, thank you for your support. So, back to the game. I hope we can harvest the plants, and next to that we have two prisoners. We have Eric over here, who's in a bad mood. And we have Bogonio, Bogonio Mosquito. She's uh, in a quite an okay mood, actually. So, what we're gonna do with these guys, I don't know. I think we should try some experiments, but yeah. We need to see if we have time for that, and we definitely need some more medicine. At the moment, our stockpile is pretty much filled up, and I hope we get a trader this episode. Otherwise, we need to maybe trade ourselves or increase our stockpile somewhere else. So over here we can see Doc is not in the correct room. She's in the room without the dresser and without the art. And of course, we want her in the most impressive bedroom. So we're gonna swap the beds, and then she has the excellent bed. And later on, she will take this room for herself. Also, instead of simple meals, I've set up a bill for cannibal fine meals. This way the human meat won't go that fast and we have rice to spare. Ashuta here is wearing a flag vest and as you know, this comes from the guys we killed in the last episode. So this is tainted wear and we have a minus five debuff for it. So somehow, I don't get why she's wearing it, but we're gonna check the assign tab to see if the decent clothing setup we made includes the tainted apparel. I guess it does. So we need to remove that. So let's check. Over here we have the manage outfits. We're gonna select the current outfit and that's the decent clothing. And over here we see the tainted apparel was checked. Now it's unchecked so she won't wear it again. I don't know if this I've mentioned this but I've used steel for the walls because somehow in my opinion the steel walls, yeah, they belong to a refrigerator. So to keep the battery from overcharging, I flick the switch every now and then, but I notice I forget to switch it on again. So maybe I'll just do a test and leave it on for a while. I guess at the moment it's not the highest priority, so we'll order a shooter here to flick it now, so we have the freezer working again. Luckily, because of the double walls, it won't heat up that fast. So somehow I want more storage, and this is going to be our storage area, I think, or over here. If I make it over here, I can make it now. Then this room will disappear, make a hallway like this to our temporary storage area, maybe permanent. And then we can make this our production room, I guess, or rec room. Production, I think. So then they need to walk through the hallway, get stuff, and produce over here. I think that's gonna be the plan. So we're gonna reinstall the bed here. We have some medicine now. And this is a medical prison bed. And we're gonna queue up an operation. This because I decided Doc needs some practice. Doc was wondering about, thinking about what she was doing on the spaceship and she was reminded of the good old days. And in the good old days, she got to cut up people. I'm guessing Eric here isn't gonna be much use to us. So let's get the alternative use. And we're gonna harvest two of his organs and after that we're gonna decide what to do with him next. The hospital room is nice and clean again, and we should get started as soon as possible. Let's see how this will go. Doc will start with harvesting the first organ here, and as we can see, it's getting quite messy. Eric, however, is sleeping. Uh, so I think this will result into a debuff, actually. Quite a big mood debuff. But it's gonna give us some silver as soon as we can get it, and... At this moment, Eric is costing us a lot of food. He ain't gonna join us, so let's do it like this. 
Then we have our hospital bed back as well. I'm guessing the room is pretty sterile. It's a nice room, it's a well-lit room, and Doc's medical skill is quite high. So success! We have two organs. This is also a mod which tells you which organs they are. So we have a lung and we have a kidney, which means Eric here is now worth a lot less than before. However, one more operation and he won't cost us any more food, which is good as well. Funny enough, he'll actually be food, which is even better. Another mention we got was a butchering table. I forgot all about it and we're gonna install it right now. I'm gonna make it a steel butcher table because somehow it seems to me that this is a more of a clean butcher table. Probably won't matter, but this way we can, we can get more meat out of our victims, I guess, and prey. Yes, haul one. So I don't know what the different levels of hauling are. I think she will haul now, but not very often, and seven she will haul more often, something like that. Nice. That's a lot of silver. So, where is it? South of our base. We'll keep it there. And as soon as they go back to being idle, I guess we will mine the silver. Sounds about right. Yeah, let's do that. Shuta's still working on our prisoner and she gets closer and closer to breaking her. Okay, I know I'm being annoying here, but why is it a different color? <laughs> I can't handle this. Okay, like I mentioned before, we now have an open space over here. This is gonna really bug me, so haul it before you build it. So I noticed Doc's level is almost up to 14 for medical, so I gave Eric another two operations. However, the first one fails. Doc did level up, but Eric didn't get his peg leg as we stab them in the torso while trying to install a peg leg. What do you know? Shit happens. Let's try again. So I also queued up the left peg leg and let's see if she has more success switching this one. This is the final try because we are almost out of medicine, but yeah. Luckily for Eric, practice makes perfect and the second leg is installed. So we have now one peg leg on Eric. We have our butcher table, so we will deconstruct our butcher spot. We don't do anything with this anymore, so we can deconstruct that as well. And we can make a bill for the butcher table to butcher creatures forever. And of course, also humans. A few moments later, we have another event, and this is the event where we were waiting for. We have a box goods trader and this will definitely clean up our stockpile. So the moment she gets up, a shooter is moving towards our trader. Let's see what he has for sale. So I'm gonna spare you the details a bit, but where it came down to is I bought a bunch of pemmican and sold most leathers and organs. So all was going well and we decided we are gonna place a drug lab in this room over here. And at that moment, our prisoner decides to act up. Uh oh, prison break. So Bogonio here is trying to escape and it makes perfectly sense that we won't let that happen. We want her to join us maybe eventually. So I guess Ashita is going here and Doc will be going here and Booker will be going here. So with our pawns in position and a situation of three against one, this should be easy. And if she be able to escape, then we still have our visitors outside, which can help us. There we go. Please don't hit Kira. Thank you. Come on. Okay. So, that was actually not that bad. Cargo pods. Gold. Gold is always good. It's not the best. Of course we are gonna haul it immediately. So let's see what we can cook up. So we can make flake, 16 cycloid leaves. We can make yayo, 32 cycloid leaves. And we can make, of course, the smoke leaf joints. 
So to prepare, I set up some smoke leaf and flake builds. Okay. Eric's gone berserk. So we're just gonna handle this like the prison break and put a chute under your door and put some back up in the hallway. And as you can see here, Eric will be put in his place in a matter of minutes. So I guess it's back to bed for Eric. And while Roker will tuck in Eric, Doc will start cooking our first batch of smoke leaf joints. As you can see here, Ashuta has taken a beating as well, mainly bruises, but we do need to tend to them. So I'm gonna send her back to bed. Yeah, we have our first production here. And of course, we're having a raid. It is a raiding party of four, and we have one with bow and arrow, two with a club, and one with a knife. So we should be able to take care of them from a distance. So our colonists are in position again. We have a shooter defending Doc, and we have Roker that has the assault rifle so they can shoot from afar. In the meanwhile, Doc has the bolt action rifle he got from the last raid. Nice. So one down, three to go, that means if we kill another one, the rest will go fleeing. As we can see over here. However, this guy won't get away. Sadly, the last raider is too far away and she looks like a really fast jogger, so we can't catch her. But hey, we have three out of four, which is a good result. It's fast. I'm gonna make that. So for the remainder of the day, nothing much happens. So yeah, with everybody to bed again, we have finished the last week of the second year. We are now in fall and this is our third year on this Rimworld. I would say all in all, everything is going quite well. We have three colonists now, we have our drug production started and we have quite a nice base, I'd say. So planning plans for the next year are increasing our drug production, increasing our colony members and increasing defense because we do get to be a little bit on the edge every now and then. If you want to see more RimWorld content, please subscribe and even tick the little bell, then you get the notifications. Thanks for watching and we'll check out this quest in the next episode.